Hello and welcome to the program. EU leaders have backed an aid package worth 540 billion euros to support member states through the COVID-19 pandemic and kickstart recovery. The funding got the green light at a key video conference on Thursday. The aid was first tabled by Eurozone finance ministers earlier this month and the fund should be operational by the 1st of June. Council President Charles Michel outlined where the money will be going. We endorsed the agreement on three important safety nets for workers, businesses and sovereigns, amounting to a package worth 540 billion euros. We call for the package to be operational by 1st of June 2020. We also agreed to work towards establishing a recovery fund which is needed and urgent. And the bloc is expected to spend even more money, but there's still disagreements about spending that on a longer-term recovery plan. Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said the bloc will likely need to pull those funds directly from the next EU budget. I am convinced it is uh, that there is only one instrument that can deliver this magnitude of uh, tasks behind the recovery, and that is the European budget clearly linked to the recovery fund. The budget is time-tested. Everybody knows it. It is trusted by all member states, and it is per se designed for investment, for cohesion and convergence. And therefore, I am glad that the member states showed uh, unity, impressive encouragement for the Commission to explore innovative financial instruments in relation to the MFF. Let's cross over to Brussels, where our correspondent Jack Parrick is standing by. Jack, just how much progress have the leaders made tonight? Well, this is really the initial agreement, Oliver. What they're doing is setting out a fund. This is the structure of the plan that looks like we'll be talking about for the weeks and months to come. Essentially, they were discussing whether there should be collective bonds that the EU countries would take on together. That wasn't accepted by the frugal northern countries like the Netherlands, Sweden, uh, Austria uh, and Denmark. So now what they've, got, they've worked on is a proposal that came from the Spanish government, which was for this recovery fund. Spain had proposed it would be around 1.5 trillion euros eventually. Ursula von der Leyen, the European Commission president in that press conference, said that they were talking into the trillions. Uh, but really the issue is how they fit that into the budget. The, the seven-year EU budget was being thrashed out and really, really hard negotiated before the COVID-19 pandemic hit. Uh, and now they're discussing how to fit this recovery fund into that budget that will have to start at the beginning of 2021. Now, this is a very initial agreement. Essentially what they've said is, yep, this idea of a fund can work, Let's get to work on what this fund means, whether we take it, whether it gives people loans that obviously have specific interest rates related to them, or whether it issues some kind of grant. That's another issue. Ursula von der Leyen said that both of those will be considered as part of the fund. The work starts here, really. Big disagreements between the northern countries and the southern countries. What are some of those specific leaders had to say about tonight's summit? Well, we've already heard from the Dutch uh, Prime Minister, Mark Rutte. He tweeted out to say that the, the, a joint fund and collective efforts are needed. So it looks like they're backing this idea of a recovery fund They've, with, with a real stick in the mud regarding the, the idea of the, the collective bonds, the corona bonds or euro bonds. We've also heard from German Chancellor Angela Merkel. They, her, and this is really significant, obviously, with German, be, Germany being the economic powerhouse of the European Union. She said that basically German citizens are going to have to understand that Germany is going to need to pay more into the EU pot as part of uh, the, the, the recovery from the, 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 um, the coronavirus pandemic. So there is now some softening in the north. The uh, countries in the south, Italy and Spain, that are insisting on collective debt will be pleased that this is a workable solution starting to get work on. But there is a long, long way to go before anywhere near the, the, the fund that they're desiring will be put together. There will be negotiations continuing, the first one starting at EU leader level in two weeks' time, Oliver. Jack Parrick, joining us there from Brussels. Thanks very much.